Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. I am Rowdy Gaming, playing Sunken Land. I wanted to just kind of take a little bit of time to put out a video, um, maybe a little educational tutorial video on the gun bench. Uh, I know it's kind of confusing when you first start, um, but I'm hoping to simplify it for you. So basically it says, user's manual, obtain component blueprints by dismantling broken guns, which may also drop from safes, closets, and military crates on the map. Craft gun parts in the advanced gunsmithing table and assemble the finished gun. If you're lucky, you can get gun parts directly from dismantling broken guns, as well as safes, closets, and military crates. So basically what that's saying is around the map, as you know, there are military crates, there are safes, there are all sorts of things. And inside of them, sometimes you can actually find some gun parts. Um, and as you can see here, we have a couple of gun parts. We have some magazines, receivers, barrels. Um, they come in three different varieties. There's going to be the scrap. There's going to be alloy and then high tech. Scrap is obviously going to be your lowest tier. The alloy is going to be your next highest tier. And then the high tech is going to be your best. Um, so basically, as you progress through and you start taking over bases or you uh, you know take out some of the pirates that come and attack your base you're going to be getting some broken firearms so what you would do is you would take your firearms and you would bring them into here into the gun bench you would grind them up this may take a little bit of a well, little bit of time for them to grind up but as they do get ground up you wind up getting some blueprints um, and I'm just going to grab one just, you know, to show you. So I've already learned this particular one. So this is something that's been implemented uh, recently, which is very nice. Um, if you right click on this, like you would, you know, right click to use. This already tells me that I've learned this. And if you do go into your blueprints and you can actually scroll down and you can actually start seeing which blueprints have been unlocked and not. And as you can see, there's that one right there that is a pistol uh, drum mag basically so that is um, you know a very helpful thing whoops I did not mean to do that um, a very helpful thing uh, so that you're not wasting blueprints um, because these can then be traded in in a location that is called uh, Dreadville um, right here on the map Dreadville so you can see where the um, home island is here, Castaway Island. Straight up over here is Dreadville. There's a machine over there that you put these blueprints into. And once you've accrued 200 points, it'll actually spit out um, blueprints. It says that they are uh, mostly rare, um, high-tech uh, high tech parts uh, or alloy. alloy. Um, and basically, like the last episode that I had out, you will see that I got this LW59 high-tech receiver. Um, so that is, you know, kind of a crash course on these. So as we come into here, it's going to say take item. We're going to take our items. It gave us a couple of blueprints. We will bring those down here. Um, we will see that I have already learned these, so I'm just going to swap them over into here. And those particular ones have gone right up here. I have a stack of eight of those because I've been... Oh, I've been grinding right away. Um, well, I do have a couple of items I would like to uh, slap over here so I can free up a couple of um, item slots. I got some, sorry, hold on. Got some chemicals and a uh, repair kit I would like to get out of my inventory. So basically, um, what I'm going to illustrate for you now is kind of assembling one of these firearms. So I already have this receiver. I have a red dot sight and a drum. The only thing that I do not have, and if we go into here, I can illustrate it a little bit better for you. So here is the LW-59. And if we go into here, you, know, you will see that there are basically, uh, right here is that scrap metal barrel, which if you wanted to manufacture it, you, you can for 20 scrap. And five duct tape but the issue being is that i have it locked out i cannot manufacture it if i find one i can use it so if we go over to here we're going to notice that this receiver right here i have one of them um, shown by the the indicator one there and i can use this 
But if we go ahead and grab something else, like say this receiver here, this is an M16 high tech receiver. If we go into here and we look under M16, you'll notice that I do not have this unlocked. But being that I have one of these, I can actually mount it. So even though this is not unlocked, you can still use it. You can still mount that onto here. I have enough to make one of these barrels, which is a Cold War barrel. I have it unlocked, so I will be able to produce it and mount it. And then as far as the buttstock, I do not have the high one, but if I had one, I could install it. So we're gonna go ahead and produce this, and then we're going to mount this. And same with the um, red dot sight. We, don't, we do have one, but I'm gonna be using it, so I need to produce another one. We're gonna mount that. And then same with this drum magazine here. It is unlocked. I can produce it. And then once that's done, I'm going to mount it. So then once you have all the parts, you'll notice that this is indicated down here and it says assemble. So what you would do is then hit assemble and you'll see that we now have an M16 in our inventory. And that is right here, a full M16 ready to be used. Um, so again, I'm gonna go to the LW59 the barrel here um, hold on I need to go grab a couple more advanced parts which I do have right here okay, let me just get this right out of our face um, so the barrel we're going to produce and we're going to mount we have the receiver so we're going to mount that we have a red dot sight so we're going to mount that and then we have one of these drum mags, so now we're going to mount that. And again, here we have all the parts assembled, four out of four. The other one was five, and we're going to produce this. And again, we're going to have now an LW-59 in our inventory. Um, and this goes basically for everything. If you just wanted to look at the DEG-45, again, like I only have one of the barrels that I have unlocked. I don't have the best barrel. It is indicated here, um, standard barrel does not add any damage, the medium barrel adds 11, um, and the muzzle speed increases, and then you see that the best barrel adds 11 damage, and it uh, reduces your recoil. You can produce a, you know, progress up through here, you can see that there is a scrap metal, there's an iron, the different guns have different uh, tiers, I guess you can say. Um, there's an alloy and then there's the high tech. Obviously the high tech is going to be the best one. You can see the damage right here, 73 from the alloy to 117 for the, the high tech. Different sites and then different magazines. And if you can, if you kind of look down here, there's a description on the magazine, uh, provides, you know, bullets that can be fired through the gun. Um, this is a special load is basically the desert eagle special magazine loads with two high powered rounds only two round capacity but each round deals 450 percent damage that's incredible and then this one here obviously um, you have your eight standard and it's going to add 22 so you're going to have a 30 round magazine with that all these all these guns are all going to be different every single one um but you're going to you're going to basically progress through and you're going to find all the different blueprints for all the different guns. You're going to find all the different attachments and such like that. Oh boy, look at that. Convenient timing. I'm going to like look and try out our new gun right now. Yeah, these guys have been attacking me quite frequently. <laughs> and they're, um, they're coming with some pretty... Pretty crazy firearms. Mostly STGs. Um, oh my gosh, we got a double shot crab. Sorry guys, I gotta take this. 
And of course, conveniently, all I have is my pickaxe on me. Okay. Now that that's over with. Uh, we don't need any of that. I do want these. Um, yeah, these are all... Th this is what's super convenient. Oh, I want that cabbage. It's super convenient about these guys coming in and attacking. Oh, I'm running low on uh, components lately. I don't want any of that. Do we have a slot for electronics? Okay, well we're just gonna run in. We're gonna organize real quick. We're gonna go back out and get this stuff. Um, hold on. Where are we? This, this, and that. Yeah, we got some broken guns. We got some advanced parts. All sorts of goodies. Um, I want to go back up and I want to just talk about that a little bit more, so just bear with me here. Um, I just want to illustrate grinding up a few more guns here real quick. Um, so if you come up to the machine, you can see that you can hit Q and E, and you can actually rotate through and pick which gun you actually want to grind up. Um, I have not ground up a lot of these M14s, so I am going to be grinding up another one of those. I'm going to try to walk away from this thing because it's loud as heck. Um, you can take these um, actual receivers and actual gun parts over to Dreadville and actually throw them in the machine, and you get quite a bit of good points for that. Um, we're like pretty freaking loaded on all these different things. Um, so I may just make a trip over there and illustrate that for you as well. I'll probably cut out the boat trip because that just takes for freaking ever. Um, so as you can see, we got a couple more blueprints. Uh, we got a World War II scrap barrel I've already learned and an alloy receiver for an M14, which I've already learned as well. And I've just kind of made a barrel and just kind of tossed all these into, um, got quite a few just barrels uh, let me just get these all put away we're gonna put this in there that in there that in there I'm sorry let me just organize real quick get some of this stuff put away oh there's the sure why not um, I've just got bins on bins somewhat organized Put the crabs and those. A little bit of fuel. Um, so we're just gonna grab a bunch of these. And we're gonna head over to Dreadville and I will illustrate for you. Uh, oh shoot. Bear with me. I must not have cleaned the boat out after the last raid. Let's get these put away real quick. Um, I got a couple of food items I can slap away. We got some of these. And we got some more broken guns. Actually, we have a full barrel right here that um, I can I can grind up and show you how that works. No, oh, it doesn't go in there, but it's good for now. And I think we can put shark fins over there. We got one charcoal. Oh my gosh, I'm getting loaded with stuff. Okay, so we can keep that one barrel. Let's just snag the rest of these real quick. Then there's a few items over here I would like to grind up, like these iron stocks. I don't want. I have two of these. These I'm pretty much not going to use. I, I have nice guns already, so I'm just not even gonna. So we have two coal, uh, what are those? Alloy, alloy, those stack, they all stack. And we have an alloy shotgun. Yeah, I already made this gun, so I'm not gonna use it. And I'm not gonna use that. So we'll just illustrate for you, um, getting these all ground up. Um, and let's just make our way over there now. I may just cut this boat ride out. Uh, 
just to save some time. Alright, so here we are pulling up the Dreadville. Again, I'll show you the location on the map. It is right here. Um, you can see our home island is right there. Basically shoot straight across and you wind up at Dreadville. If you have not taken this over yet, it is in your missions uh, tab um, under the B menu. Um, and basically what you will do is once this island is cleared, you will be able to have full access to this all the time. You will just come up over here. I mean, there's a million ways to come through here. Oh, convenient. My flashlight died right there. And then right where this nice, nice indicator is where the arrow, you will see this nice machine here and it says production count. You can see I have some points in here already. Um, and what you do is the item that you've selected, you again, you can go Q and E back and forth. Um, and then you would hit F to put the item in. Um, as indicated, you can see that this item, um, the barrel, the actual barrel there is a value of three points. So if we throw that in, we get three points. You'll see this one's nine. These are each five. So that would be 15. These are one. You get one basically every time you grind up a gun. It's kind of annoying. But we'll throw all those in. These are all three. Here we have some. Um, the actual parts themselves sometimes are worth a little bit more. Like this, for instance, a alloy barrel uh, for the Cold War. Each worth 75. Nice value, 65. This one's really nice, 175 points. And this one here is 100 points. I'm going to go down and I'm going to load back up. Come on, why is my guy like being sluggish? Uh, we're going to just load right back up with more of these. Hopefully I can carry them all. Wow, look at that. So we'll make our way back up here. Oh my gosh, again? Okay, let's just pay attention here. There we go. Alright. Get all these guys tossed in here too. Uh, so these are valued at 20. Got 4, 30 reach but we have freaking eight of them nine twelve i don't need to tell you guys you can see what the value of all of these is i'm hungry so that's cool so now we have 1100 points and to start production because again that hit costs 200 per we're gonna hit c it's gonna give us a an item and here we have the us 45 um, high tech. We're gonna take that with C, and remember to pay pay attention to what button you're hitting, because if you hit F, you're gonna give that back to this machine. So you're gonna want to hit C to do production again. And here we have an SMG alloy receiver. We're going to take that item. So we're going to get another one. We got a high tech receiver for a Desert Eagle. Yeah, alloy barrel. I think that's the second one of those that we got. We can get one more. And we got a third SMG. So now, if we go into here and we look, this we've already learned, this we've already learned, that we have already learned. So now we're just going to hit F, and we're going to trade these guys right back in. And we're going to ask for a couple more blueprints. Okay, we got a magazine. Remember to hit C, not F, because you would have given that back in. Here's a 2x scope. We're gonna ask for another one. Here's a US 45 alloy again. And then here is the SVD uh, sniper rifle high tech receiver. So I think we already have all of these. We're gonna check, right click. We have them all. There's a little song and dance that you get to do. Trade them all back in. We're losing points every time. I got that for <laughs> that receiver again. And then make sure to hit C if you don't want to get rid of it. Um, let's see, do we have both of those? I think we already checked this one and we checked that one. Awesome, back in with F. Okay, we can get two more. I feel like we're hitting the lotto here with a um, uh, freaking slot machine. 
giving us back just a little bit just to uh, keep us hooked, you know? But we are losing. <laughs> okay, uh, both of these we've already learned. So we're gonna toss them back in. Yeah, we're down to one more blueprint. There's that SMG. I believe we already have that one. We do toss it back in and we don't have any more points. Um, so there's this very simple um, illustration on how to use the um, gun blueprint uh, producer over at Dreadville. Um, I really do hope that this has been informative to you all. Um, so basically you're just going to have to uh, go around the map, try to find... Um, actually, I might be able to illustrate it for you right here. I don't know if there's going to be any crates or anything that are left here. Um, sometimes the vault or the safe actually um, respawns. But let's just take a look. Sometimes you can get some free blueprints out of, out of safes and such. Mostly military crates. Let's see if there's anything respawned around here. Nope. Not there. And there is no safe. Um, well, that's a bummer. So, yeah, I mean, you're just going to have to kind of, you know, cruise around the map. You're going to have to go to certain locations and such. Uh, see if you can actually find different blueprints, different gun parts. Um, like when I first started, I basically um, found enough items to make the hunting rifle, the old hunting rifle. Um, I rocked out for quite a while, and now I'm kind of, you know, I made a, a high-tech SVD. I think I have a high-tech um, shotgun. The SMG is an entire high-tech, and then the AK-47 is a high-tech receiver, um, high-tech barrel, and it has just a... Uh, like medium, one one of the higher grade butt butt stocks to help reduce recoil. So yeah, you're just gonna have to grind up guns. Um, like I said, it's kind of helpful that these guys come in and attack you at home. You can get some free free guns. You can just kind of use those to grind up blueprints. Um, don't throw them away. Kind of keep them. I know they're kind of valuable at the trader, um, but it doesn't really. You know, you can sometimes find some really um, awesome parts. The receiver that I actually had for this gun here, the LW-59, actually got out of the machine at Dreadville. So that was definitely a bonus as far as I'm concerned. Gotta eat a little bit. So yeah, hopefully this has been, been helpful. Uh, grind up your guns, get your blueprints, learn what you can, and then you can kind of pop in here and you can wind up seeing, you know, what you have unlocked um, and, and what you don't. I still have not found the blueprint for this high-tech buttstock, but I did find a single buttstock. Um, so, and same with this shotgun. I have not found that high-tech receiver, but I did get one out of that machine, so that's how I was able to build the, um, the high-tech shotgun. Everybody, I really do hope that this has been informative for you. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. I'll do my best to try to answer them for you. Um, I can always make follow-up videos and such too. Um, so if you um, enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Um, hit me up in the comment section. If you feel so inclined, give me a sub. Um, really do appreciate everybody taking a view. And um, check out my other content if, uh, if you're if you're willing. I've got quite a, quite a series. I think I'm up to 20 videos, I believe, on uh, the new update, and I have a uh, series one on uh, the, the first first part of uh, Sunken Land there. So everybody, again, I am Rowdy Gaming. Really do appreciate you all taking some time to um, take a look at this. Really do hope that I was helpful, and uh, everybody, hope you have a great rest of your day, and this is Rowdy Gaming. We'll see you on the next one.